welcome to the weekend shave video. So this weekend we're going to do a review of a razor. Um, something I don't really do a whole lot and something that I kind of thought, um, why not? I uh, changed things up a little bit and uh, so yeah, so we're going to go right into it. Uh, the soap for today uh, for the review is going to be First Canadian Shave. That is uh, Loretto Lime and Rosemary. Very nice herbaceous lime scent very refreshing a little bit of that green note in there from the uh, rosemary very very nice scent brush you're going to use is going to be the coyote cut psychedelic funk uh, with the 24 millimeter uh, tuxedo knot so just get this uh, loaded up right quick and get right into the shave nice damp brush and I'm not going to swirl this too much because this is a soft soap. This is a version one of Randy's formula, so it's a very soft soap. And as you can see, with a soft knot and a damp brush, it just it just picks the soap up. I'm not even putting any pressure. I'm not splaying the knot into this soap. I'm just letting it ride along the surface. It's nice and gentle, light, and just picking up that soap, and that is. All you need of that, uh, this stuff loads very quickly with a very damp soft knot that is. Uh, no need to get into a 20, 20 or 30 second load, probably with 10 swirls of the tub or so is really all you need. And we'll get right into lathering this up using distilled water as usual. That is all I use for all my shaves now. And keeps everything even across the board. So hopefully everybody is having a wonderful weekend. Mine is going pretty good. Uh, very excited to do this review. Uh, this is a razor I don't use a whole lot anymore. And I don't know why. Because it really is a fantastic razor. And um, I'll be the first to admit that my DEs have been getting a lot of neglect. And I'm going to try and mitigate that. I'm going to try and add them back into the rotation more. Um, I, I do really enjoy the straight razor shaving. I, I love using my straights. I love using my shavette. But, you know, I also love using my DEs, too. And from a cost standpoint as well, uh, the, more, the more you lean on your straights, the faster you're going to wear the edge out, and then you have to get, send them out to get honed. So... But there's a cost associated to that. I don't have uh, stones. I can't do any of my own honing. So I have to send them out. And plus I've invested money in my DEs. And it's nice to use them. So this lather is just about ready to go. A very slick soap. It's almost like cheating using a soap like this with a double edge razor blade. Uh, or a safety razor does make for a, a wonderful shave uh, this stuff is pretty much engineered for straight razor shaving so uh, when you use it with a double-edged uh, safety razor it's almost like cheating it's almost like the soap is too good but that's not a bad thing either because uh, you don't feel the blade you don't feel anything so, a very important part of the shave for sure. And it does provide all the necessary cushion and glide for a great shave. All right, so now the work area is clear. Let's get a look at this razor, shall we? So, it is the Edwin Jagger DE89 Barley Handle. So, get a look at it there. Look at the top cap. I mean, this is an exquisite razor. See if you can get a look at the, the blade reveal. There you go. It has a little bit of uh, a little bit of the tabs on the end, but nothing too too serious. You have the Edwin Jagger logo right across the top. This weighs in at, and I'm probably gonna have to go for my cheat sheet. This weighs in at 2.2 ounces or 63 grams. So it's not the heaviest razor in the world. And its total length is three and a quarter inches 
or 8.2 centimeters. So if you can look at it there. So it's not the tallest razor either, but for me, with my big hands, it fits in there nice. I, I do the pinch up here, pinky on the bottom, grip the barrel. Um, the thing where the barley handle really sticks out is, is the handle. If we can get that in there, if you can see, get that to focus on. There, the barley handle is an exquisite pattern. It's a very, very, very fine knurling, but it's incredibly grippy too. And it seems like the wetter it gets, the more it grips and the more your fingers cling to it. And it's very, very nice on the eyes. That's what drew me to this. So without further ado, we'll get to the shave. There is a uh, Voskhod on its first use in this. So let's go first pass. So right off the bat, very easy to find the angle on the Edwin Jagger heads. I only have uh, one day's worth of growth, pretty much 24 hours to be exact. But already providing a very smooth shave. Even though it's not the heftiest razor out there, still you want to apply no pressure. Just let the weight of the razor do its thing. Even though it's, uh, it's on the lighter side of safety razors, it's more than sufficient to remove your, your uh, hairs without any added pressure or input from the user. And we'll lather up for pass number two. Um, these razors are manufactured out of, I believe it's Zamac or something similar to Zamac. So it's a metal alloy. They, they call it uh, pot metal, but it is very well made. Uh, that's been one of the benchmarks of Edwin Jagger is they're very well made. They are beautifully chromed and uh, their warranty is second to none. So if you ever have any issues with your, um, with your Edwin Jagger, uh, just get a hold of the company and they will rectify any issues with their product. They stand behind their product 100%. So you can buy with, you can buy with confidence if you get into one of these. And second pass, this is across the green. Um, yeah, so a very mild shaver, like I said, uh, perfect for daily use, not too aggressive. It's not too mild either that you're not going to get a good shave. So it's a very good daily driver. This is performing quite well with that brand new Voskhod. And I believe all the heads are the same, or on the DE89 series anyway. And these come in a very large variety of handles. And to me, that's one of their um, that's one of their selling points. You know, I'll get right into the third lather here. Uh, to me, that's one of their selling points. Uh, is is their handles? Because you can buy the you can buy the razor and it's you pick basically whichever handle you want. They have uh, you know they have handles with color. They have handles like the barley. They have the Chatsworth barley, which is a more expensive version and a bigger handle. Uh, they have handles with color in them, but you're getting the same head for the most part. I think they may have just come up with a brand new razor as a newly designed head, but anything in the '89 series, they all come with the same heads. So you can tailor make. Uh, the razor to to your desire uh, as what you like in a handle and you're gonna get the same shave across the board with that head I think which is a which is a great idea and then go to the third pass not a whole lot of audible feedback 
with these razors. They are pretty quiet, but they are pretty mild. Providing a very efficient shave. A shave that is easy on the skin. Just need to do a little touch up on the jawline. This is always where I push it because right after the shave, my skin feels a bit rough. And then I may want to, um, I may want to keep going, but after a couple minutes later, I, I notice that there's absolutely no no hair left and but then you've already given yourself irritation but it, it is pretty hard to get yourself irritated on one of these it is such a mild but efficient razor and that has really been their benchmark with the uh, DE89 series is just how efficient they are compared to the uh, to the blade feel and once again as you can see the razor is wet but absolutely no issues with that barley handle and yeah just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of kit. And do the cold water rinse. And the price point is very good too. So uh, I checked before uh, doing the video. So in Canada right now, at Fenderhin, and I can put a link to um, to Fenderhin to this razor. It's cost you sixty dollars Canadian, and um, I do believe that passes the th threshold for free shipping in Canada too. I think it's fifty dollars. It's free shipping, so you can buy this razor, and if that's all you bought from Fenderhin, uh, you get the free shipping with it. Uh, in the U.S., I think it's around fifty bucks. So, so for the price, I think it's a it's a very good price. It's a very reasonable and very fair price for for the razor you get, especially with with the um, with the warranty. Now, I, I've heard some people have had some problems with with the plating and that, or or the threads. But knock on wood, I haven't had any issues with mine. But that being said, anybody that has had issues of plating or threads, um, a quick phone call or an email to uh, Fenderhin and or not Fenderhin, but uh, Edwin Jagger, and they were quick to replace. The, uh, the entire head or the razor if need be, no questions asked. So you can buy with confidence. Uh, we are going to use First Canadian Barbershop as the splash. Uh, this has some citrus notes in it, some herbaceous notes. I think it's gonna pair well with the rosemary and lime since I do not have uh, the magic splash. Yeah, that will do nicely. It's a very citrus forward barbershop scent. And it goes very nice. Um, this is a witch hazel based splash, so there's going to be no burn. Uh, I'm not anticipating any burn anyway from that shave. Very smooth, very efficient, no irritation. That's just what you want. Very nice. It's a shave like that that makes me remember why I keep something like that in the rotation and why I haven't sold it or passed it on because it really does give a phenomenal shave. So that is the uh, quick review for this weekend on the Edwin Jagger DE89 Barley Handle. Um, would I recommend one? Yes, absolutely. I would definitely recommend one. These are handmade by a small company in, uh, I believe they're in Sheffield is where they're located. And um, their customer service is second to none buy with confidence and get a great efficient uh, mild razor that won't break the bank and plus they look absolutely stunning so that's it for this weekend i do thank you for uh, tuning in and watching if you enjoy these videos please uh, give a like and a comment and a subscribe if not already a subscriber and that's it for me so as always friends have a great day and an even better shave and we will catch you in the next one bye